um, the vision of the project started three, four years ago with uh, a couple of us meeting, mostly Janes, Petra and me in the beginning and uh, speaking about eco-villages, about simple lifestyle, about something we call luxurious simplicity, which means making the best out of simple things which surround us and enjoying it fully, uh, being sustainable in practice. So this, these were our ideas. Uh, luxurious simplicity was the term which very well encompassed everything that we were dreaming of. Uh, making our lives as simple as possible and uh, at the same time finding in this simplicity amazing richness. And uh, when we were looking for potential places we found this house, this place, and it turned out to be a very nice, uh, uh, also concerning the neighbors who are supporting us, also related to the municipality, local community, basically we have a lot of support in this region from all sides and that's how we bought the house, started renovating it and so on. Uh, and. Uh, uh, quite soon volunteers started coming and we had uh, someone to share our story with. We gained a lot of support from many organizations, institutes, companies, universities and so on uh, with the idea that we started, which is uh, showcasing sustainable practices from all kinds of fields. Uh, ecolo ecological, economical, social and cultural. As I said, this project started um, with the term eco-village and uh, communities in the forest, in some faraway places, uh, have been emerging since 60s and 70s in the Western world. We didn't have any such a community in Europe and in the meanwhile the meaning of the term eco-village has changed a lot. Now it's not about running away from the, from the crazy society uh, to protect yourself from all the influences of these crazy people who are just running around after money and finding a place where you can really connect with nature. It's not only about that. And But at the same time we'd be denying the fact that it is pleasant to live in such a way. Somewhere in the wilderness, in peace, uh, planting your own plants and enjoying the, the food that grows on your land. So this is a big aspect of eco-villages, but in the recent de decades, uh, especially after 2000 maybe or 2005, eco-villages have started to connect very strongly with the mainstream society and uh, showing solutions for the problems that they are facing. There is a lot of innovation in eco-villages and in all communities around the world which have some eco aspect or sustainable aspect and they are sharing w willingly uh, the innovations which came from from them and these innovations are in all four fields of sustainability social which is very important uh, quite often neglected in sustainability so social sustainability economical sustainability which is a big issue nowadays with economy going in strange directions and uh, markets uh, crashing and so on so we are trying to create local sustainable economy. A uh, third aspect is ecology. With ecology it's quite obvious that uh, if we don't take care of our environment uh, and support its health then it cannot support us adequately. And the fourth aspect is cultural. Some people also use the word spiritual. So uh, this fourth pillar of uh, sustainability is crucial for the uh, psychological and um, kind of deep connection with the environment and between people and it brings some kind of meaning to our lives. So without this aspect of sustainability we are not having all four, four pillars in space, in place. We are not having all four pillars in place and uh, that's why we are considering all these four in our project 
uh, we are learning this from other eco villages, and because they have good results, we are copying it in our place. We are not inventing hot water. We traveled around Europe. We traveled also to communities around the world, and we um, really um, examined the best practices, and we are trying to implement them in our community as well. And uh, time will show how successful how successfully we are doing it and uh, how our own twist to all of it will um, will yeah how will it succeed or not i'm just uh, hoping that we are going to add something new to the global sustainability movement and uh, take it maybe a step further